At the end of January, a series of photographs taken by Canadian army photographers showed Ukrainian troops being trained at sites in the UK as part of Operation Unifier. Unifier is a training mission carried out by the Canadian Armed Forces, with training currently taking place in the UK alongside the multinational training mission Operation Interflex. What's interesting about the new imagery is that the Ukrainian troops in training are all armed with Bulgarian-made Arsenal AK pattern rifles. This is the first time this particular pattern of AK has been seen in use. If you saw our earlier videos looking at the other types of AK pattern rifles procured by the UK for training Ukrainian personnel, you'll have seen Zastava M70s, Chinese Type 56s and East German MPI KMS 72s. It's unclear who procured the rifles, but given the training is being undertaken in the UK, they were probably procured by the UK Ministry of Defence. Unlike the earlier rifles being used for training purposes, they'll probably remain in the UK to be used in future training of Ukrainian personnel. The Arsenal AKs were seen for the first time in photographs taken on the 23rd of January, during a lesson in fieldcraft. The Ukrainian personnel can be seen taking notes, with the rifles slung at their sides. The rifles appeared in photographs again on the 25th of January when Canadian medics were instructing Ukrainian recruits on the application of tourniquets and one of the rifles was seen slung over the shoulder of a Ukrainian soldier rendering aid. Subsequently on the 26th of January soldiers from the 3rd Battalion the Princess Patricia's Canadian Light Infantry were photographed instructing Ukrainian recruits during a weapons class. The class saw Ukrainian troops learning how to operate N-laws Grounded on the floor next to them were their Arsenal AKs. A series of images from a counter-explosive training session on searching and spotting mines and booby traps also showed a platoon of Ukrainian trainees equipped with the Bulgarian AKs. The rifles seen in all of the photographs appear to be the basic model rifles. None of the weapons have railed handguards or any Picatinny on the receiver cover for mounting optics. This suggests that they are either ARM9Fs or ARM14Fs, at least according to Arsenal's website. The F refers to the folding tube metal stock, which helps identify the rifles as Arsenal-made AKs. The characteristic flash hider and furniture also help identify them as Arsenal-made weapons. It's difficult to identify what calibre the rifles are chambered in, as the Ukrainians are never seen with magazines loaded into their weapons as it's unnecessary for the training that they're carrying out. The ARM9 and M14s are both available, chambered in 5.56x45 and 7.62x39. Logical arguments could be made for either calibre. The UK MOD has confirmed to us that other AK pattern rifles have been procured, chambered in 7.62x39. So this chambering will give them ammunition commonality with the other AK pattern rifles in use. Alternatively, the UK has ample stocks of 5.56x45, and this would also closely mimic the 5.45x39 AK-74 rifles the Ukrainians are likely to be issued when they return home. Either way, they are AK pattern rifles, which enable training and familiarisation with the manual of arms, handling and firing of all AK pattern rifles. The rifles have black polymer furniture and appear to be either new or in excellent condition with few visible scratches or scrapes to the finish or furniture. Notably, each rifle has green tape around the base of the folding stock, onto which a rack number has been written in black marker pen. As is sometimes the case with making these videos, while in the process of research and production, some new source material has emerged. On the 1st of February, the UK MOD shared a series of new photographs from the training of Ukrainian troops. In these, a number of Arsenal AKs were seen fitted with blank firing adapters. This is interesting for a number of reasons. Previously we've seen Ukrainian trainees using British L85A2s with BFAs for the elements of their training which requires blank fire. We've covered this in an earlier video. It requires additional and largely unnecessary training on the use of the British bullpup. BFAs for 7.62x39 AK pattern rifles procured earlier by the UK appear to have been either deemed unsafe for use in British training areas or BFAs and blank 7.62x39 ammunition haven't been readily available. The new photographs show that BFAs are in use with these Bulgarian AKs, likely because they were procured with the rifles direct from the manufacturer. 
The UK MOD photos also show the rifles with magazines fitted, which indicates the rifles are chambered in 5.56 by 45. As I theorised earlier, the UK has ample stocks of both blank and ball 5.56, which would simplify the logistics of training the nearly 20,000 Ukrainian soldiers expected to be trained in the UK in 2023. The Australian Army has also shared a large number of photographs from their involvement in the training of Ukrainian troops in the UK. The Australian military have dubbed the effort Operation Kudu. They describe Kudu as a contingent of up to 70 Australian Defence Force personnel deployed on Operation Kudu to assist with the UK-led and based training programme. The Australian photographs show the training and familiarisation of Ukrainian troops with the Arsenal AKs, with both Australian and British instructors seen in the photographs. The photographs feature members of the 5th Battalion, the Royal Australian Regiment, and senior instructors from the British Army's Small Arms School Corps, instructing trainees in the classroom before they undertake some fire and movement drills with blanks. This was just a quick update to add to our series looking at the AK pattern rifles that Ukrainian troops are training with in the UK currently. If we see further imagery of these rifles or other AK variants, we'll update on those as well. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to check out our earlier videos in this series if you haven't already. Not only have we looked at the AK pattern rifles being used in training in the UK, but we've looked at a whole plethora of weapons being used in the war in Ukraine. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. You can support the channel via Patreon and YouTube memberships where there's a whole host of perks available, including early access to all of our videos. Thanks for watching, catch you next time.